Hi YouTube, so today I've done a tutorial on this look, half skeleton, half me. Oh my hands are dirty from doing it. Yeah, it's a super fun look guys, really easy and it's a complete last minute Halloween idea because you can stick on a black dress and go out like this, that is your Halloween costume. So yeah, I just think it's super fun, super easy and it's really cheap and affordable to do because you can get um, face paint, black and white face paint for a pound in Tesco. Um, so yeah, it's super fun and super easy and it's a last minute idea that can work for everyone. It's what I'm going for is Halloween so yeah, if you want to see this look please keep watching and if you recreate this look please send me pictures on Instagram or Twitter and because I want to see that you've well, well, how you've recreated my look. Um, so yeah, I think it's a wee bit of fun and if you want to see it, please keep watching. Okay, so first of all, uh, you have to choose which side of your face that you want to make a skeleton. I'm going to use this side of my face um, just because I find it easier. Um, so this is the side that you're going to do with um, your normal makeup. So I'm not really going to talk through this because this is just my everyday makeup routine. So I'm going to like, um, I'm going to have this in but just fast forward it. So just simply put foundation down this side of your face. Like don't go past the middle of your nose. The reason why you want to start off with your foundation is because then you can blend the white into it. So yeah, I'm just going to start off doing my normal routine on one side of my face. I'm not going to start on this side of my face, I'm not going to do my lips yet, but I'm going to start on this side of my face. I'm going to um, put a blue contact in just to try to make the difference. I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, um, but yeah, and I'm not going to put it on on camera because I am terrible at putting them in and there's so many YouTube videos out about that. So yeah, go watch a YouTube video and come back if you want to learn how to put them in. So I'll be back in two minutes. Okay, so now I've got it in, it's actually annoying my eye a wee bit because I have such sensitive eyes. So if I'm blinking or have a red eye, that is why. But we're going to move on to this side of my face. So I've just got some white face paint. It's this Nazaru one. And I'm just opening that. I'm going to pour some water into the lid to put it on as wet. So I'm just going to use one of these wee white sponges. Um, it's a wee bit dirty, but we'll get over it. Because I have practiced this before, but you never know how it's going to go the second time around. So I'm just getting that in, getting it nice and wet. I'm going to apply it all down my this side, this side of my face, and down my neck, like that. dry and then actually set it with um, baby powder because it's completely white so it'll set really nicely. So yeah just let it dry for a while and then set it. Okay so for the baby powder I just put it into a lid of one of my powders. I'm just getting a big fluffy brush and dusting it onto my face. Okay so what we're going to do next is the detailing. Once again I'm going to use this Nazaru black paint and then just get a wee fine brush and this is what we're going to do the detailing with. So soak the brush in water and dip it into your paint. Get the paint nice and wet because this is how you're going to get the blackest um, colours. Okay so first I'm just going to start off with the nose and basically I'm just going to Go like that with the nose and remember this does not have to be perfect. That's the fun about Halloween. Like it's just it's completely trial and error. So just like that. Down your nose. And then I'm next going to do 
what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm then gonna do the smile. So get some more face paint. And I'm using the side of this brush so it's thin. And I'm just going to put like that. And then colour the inside of my lip. So you can go over it to make it darker. Like that. And then again with this brush you just have to draw the teeth in. And this is what I found difficult. However, what we are going to do first is... If I'm dropping everything. Just get a black eyeshadow. I'm just using this wee MEA one. It's only a pound. And then an old brush that's actually broken. Because I don't want black on my good brushes. And when you wait for this to dry. And then you're just going to put some powder around the top of it. So I'll, it's easier to show you than to explain. Just literally miss about an inch in between if you can see. And then literally just tap some darkness because it just makes it blend easier like that although it doesn't look like much it does help okay and you're literally just gonna go start from here and go like up it's easier to watch them for me to explain And in between the teeth, almost draw like wee triangles up. Like that, and just go the whole way around. Do it rough at first, because then you can always fix it. just repeat for the bottom I'm gonna fast forward this because it really it's just the same thing like up and up and down so yeah so just play about with it it's like literally each your own it's gonna turn out different every time but I do find this the hardest bit to do okay so next I am just going to get a large fluffy brush and a black eyeshadow and do literally just a big black smoky eye. Something like that. Okay. So that's that for now. Now we're going to do your eyebrow. And I'm going to do my eyebrow in black paint just to make it really sharp. So I'm going to do the kind of like the square shape eyebrow the way that mine normally is. But completely block filled black. So. But you can do your eyebrow whatever shape you want. Just whatever shape you normally do it I would say. But just make sure it's like one black colour something like that okay it looks weird right now i believe me it'll look so much better in a minute so we're going to get the black um eyeshadow and the brush again and contour your face so for instance round your forehead make it dramatic like that okay so now is the fun bit that I'm going to move you slightly down for for the neck so what I'm going to do is pretty much okay so just get some black paint and pretty much go under your collarbone with it and also above your collarbone like that then I'm going to get your finger and sm like pull the black down 
or pull it up for up here just like that and then you can drag it as much as you want just to make it nice and messy and pulled out this is the bit now that I wasn't sure of but I'm going to do it again anyway because people said it looked good this is the neck I don't know how a neck looks so I'm just kind of going by what I'm I'm guessing so I'm just going to start and do like a bit of a curve like that and then smudge them down too I've, I'm not too sure if that's how, how it actually looks but that's the neck so this is it so far and then I'm making such a mess okay so now we're going to do the eyelashes on this side we're just going to curl the lashes and put a lot of mascara on on actual Halloween night I will be wearing lashes but unfortunately I don't have enough lashes to put on tonight for the video and for Halloween night so I'm just going to pile on the mascara Okay, I'm now going to go back to this side and use the next. Oh look, my hand. The next um, lip pencil in hot red and go over and fill my lips in. Like that. But yeah, this is pretty much it. What do you think? I kind of love it. You could even go a wee bit heavier on the contour on this side. Over the top of the tooth and the bottom of the tooth. You could do your ear, but I just forgot. Do it on your neck and smoke them out a wee bit more. But yeah. I kind of love it and with the blue contact just changes I know it's it just changes it so yeah I think I could have done the teeth a wee bit better but definitely practice makes perfect um, yeah this is the look I think it's really cool like this is uh, really glam and then this is just skeleton an extra thing that you can do to make it look even better, which I personally love, is get some fake blood. I just poured some fake blood out. i am just got a wee brush and I'm going to dip my brush in the fake blood. You could do this with um, like latex glue or no, what do you call that? It's like the special effects, it makes it lumpy and stuff, but this is um, pretty good blood, so it makes it look lumpy. But it just makes it like a reason why it's split down the middle. It's pretty fun, and you can just play about with it. Like, you don't have to do that, but I think it's a pretty fun idea. So, if you want to do this, please send me pictures. Thumbs up this video if you love it. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please, please thumbs up and subscribe. If you get me to 7,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a makeup collection. Um, and I have never done one before so I'm super excited, so please get me to 7,000. I hope you like it and if you recreate this, please send me pictures on Instagram or Twitter. I'd love to see it, so yes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!